Chamber discussing an issue that the Scottish Government has neglected to, but perhaps on the issue of the economy, it is either too afraid to or too ashamed to. I'll begin by pointing towards page 12 of their own manifesto that it stood on last year on a page entitled A Wealthier Scotland. And it states, our focus is on growing Scotland's economy and creating rewarding opportunities for all the people of our country. Well, if that's your focus, you have a funny way of showing it. Yeah. Yeah. It is depressing to be having this debate today that after 10 years of SNP government, while the UK economy grows, our economy has shrunk. Mm -hmm. We're no longer talking about lower growth in Scotland, we're talking about negative growth. We're talking about stagnation. We are side-slipping into a recession in Scotland under the less than watchful eye of this government. And keeping in with Mr Wheelhouse's nautical theme today in speeches, the warnings came, like a political Frederick Fleet. Financial iceberg, straight ahead. So why did the SNP <laughs> sail Scotland straight into it, bow first? Correct. Of course they'll blame Westminster. They always do. But the truth is that the problem lies much closer to home. Yep. It sits over there. Mm -hmm. What does this all mean on the ground for real businesses in Scotland? And for months now, for example, I've been raising awareness of the private car hire industry, small wedding and special event companies, including one in Solcoats in my region, are struggling with the additional financial burden of regulation. One owner told me that hundreds of small firms could close down. Real companies, real jobs, real people. You only need to look at the FSB's recent survey on business confidence to know the scale of the problem here. This is a government which thinks that wealth creation and entrepreneurialism are dirty words. Scotland lags behind the UK and every other region on job creation rates. The UK rate is 8.6, and in Scotland, just 1.7. These are ONS figures. Is it any wonder the Scottish economy is retracting? How many firms can have confidence in a government which from April 2016 doubled the supplement on the rate for large businesses from 1.3 to 2.6%? What kind of message does that give to businesses? How can our agricultural industry flourish when farmers don't even know if they're going to be paid on time? How can households have faith in a government which says if you live in a modest bandy house, you should be taxed more? How can workers have confidence in a government which says that in Scotland, you will be taxed more than the rest of the UK? So much for focusing on creating a wealthy Scotland. You might pay lip service in your manifesto, but today's debate is a damning indictment of what taking your eye off the ball really looks like in the cold light of day. Yeah. But the SNP's refusal to even acknowledge that there is a problem is what has led us to where we are today. Their motion does not even mention last quarter's contraction. They're burying their heads in the sand. How many more warnings do they need? The FSB, the Fraser of Allender Institute, the Scottish Chambers of Commerce, the Royal Institute of Chartered Surveyors, the Institute of Directors, warning after warning on income tax, on independence, on LBD, LBTT, on productivity. Are they all wrong? But in the spirit of positivity, I'd like to be helpful here. Here are three simple things you can do. One, take the threat of independence off the table. The First Minister can do this today, not because I'm asking her to, but because Scotland needs her to. Yep. Stop taxing Scottish workers more than the rest of the UK so you can attract the best talent to Scotland from elsewhere in the UK. Before this debate today, I was at an event discussing the skills gaps in so many sectors in Scotland. How can we attract the best talent when we have a sign at the border saying, welcome to high tax Scotland? And thirdly, create an environment that rewards hard work yeah. not one which penalises ambition. Yeah. Presiding officer, these aren't just numbers in a spreadsheet. These figures represent the livelihoods of people up and down this country mm -hmm. who are paying the price of this SNP government. And I tell you what, the sooner this ship sets sail, Scotland can say bon voyage to their mismanagement of its economy.